Hare Krishna devotees. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna all of you. Hare Krishna ma'am. So all ready for day two. So now I'm going to ask you all, uh, what is the name of the chapter today? So much of silence. You should be like youth and behave like youth. You should have much of noise. So what's the name? Um, contents yes. of Gita will be summarized in today's chapter. Very nice. So basically, uh, today will technically be the last day of Bhagavad Gita. You'll be wondering, Hare, what? Yeah, 18 days is there and she's signing off in the second day. I'm not signing off. Krishna is telling, the, this is called summary of Gita, which is also called Gita, Gita Saramsha, which means that the entire Bhagavad Gita is put into, you know, in, into this presentation. So it's a long, second longest um, uh, verse, right? Basically, this longest is the 18th chapter, which has got 78 verses, and this has 72 verses. So today we will uh, have a story after this, hopefully, if we have time. And uh, let's start off with Mangala Charan. Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Hare Krishna. Om Agnana Timura Andasya. Jnana Anjala Chalakaya. Chakshurun Militam Ye. Asme Shri Guru Ve Namaha. Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam. Stapitam Yena Bhutale. Swayam Rupa Kadamaya. Dadati Swapadatikam, He Krishna Karuna Sindhu, Dina Bando Jagatati, Gopishu Gopika Kanta, Radha Kanta Namastuti, Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi, Radhe Vrinda Vanishwari, Vishabhasute Devi, Pranamami Hari Kriye, Mancha Kalpada Rubyascha, Kripa Sindhu Bya Evacha, Patitanan Pavani Vyo, Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadara, Shri Vatsadi Gaura Bhakta Brinda. Come on, all of you join. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna, Hare Hare. 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 Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So I'm going to dive straight into the chapter. You can hear clearly, you can see properly, all clear, right? Hare Krishna. I request all of you all to mute and whoever wants to meet can please raise your hand. And since it's a big chapter, many readers are most welcome. So, Dhrudrashtra, right? Dhrudrashtra's inquiry starts off. We saw, right? The starting is Dhrudrashtra Uva Cha Dharma Kshetre Kuru Kshetre Sama Vedanta Utsavaha Mama Ka Panda Kshetre Kimakurvaka Sanjaya So, Kimakurvaka, what are they doing? So, obviously, in the battlefield, we saw the joke, right? Obviously, they'll be fighting. Uh, and we also saw between 2 and 11, Duryodhana sphere, right? Maha, So basically, what was the theory he had, right? So he was literally, he already knew that he's going to lose, you know, though he, uh, sub subconscious level, he was sure. But still, he was trying to pick a fight. Knowing of conscious 12 to 19, Hridayani Vyadarayat. So he knows uh, the, the sound vibration, right? Created a lot of stress, but still they were going on. And what was Arjuna's observation? Uh, 1.20 to 27. Shram Sate Hastat. So he drops the Gandhi. He doesn't want to take a chance also. And finally, Arjuna's reason not to fight, which you all are going to tell me. So what are the Arjuna's reason why not to fight? Five reasons, four from last chapter. Hare Krishna, Gungon. Hare Krishna. What are the reasons? Come on, uh, besides typing in the chat, let's make it interactive. Afternoon session, all of us will sleep off. Ma'am, silent, then I'll also sleep Hare off. Krishna, ma yes, dear. Arjuna didn't want to fight because he didn't see how any good can come from killing his own kinsmen in the battle. Yes, and he didn't, he couldn't defeat them, so his Gandiva slipped from his own hands. Okay, so what are the five reasons? One you told me indecision, sin, 
the indecision that's in the second chapter so the four four reasons in the first chapter perfect very compassion. nice sorry compassion yes very nice that's the first reason uh sin sin beautiful two more no enjoyment ha huh? no enjoyment ah no enjoyment that is lovely which is the other one family tradition family tradition amazing right now each one uh, so four five reasons are there and now let's see how our krishna counters so you have to now set the floor right so it's not going to be like our college or school so i remember in school when i asked two doubts one doubt teacher will answer another doubt i still do not know if the teacher knows or not but they'll tell enough of questions now this is how it has to be have you had this experience or are is life different and teachers do explain have you all had this experience where the teacher tells okay enough of your doubts sit down and just learn as it is yes okay. yeah so quick recap which we already did so i'm going to skip this because it's already told by you so now i want you all to raise your hand so before that let me just tell you a quick run up of the first six verses so the first verse uh, you know arjuna says i can't do and arjuna krishna uh, you know is now in the relationship of a friend so he is uh, actually abusing him calls him like you know kashmalam idam uh, clay and uh, all that these are like sort of not uh, very healthy words you know it means you are important so imagine somebody like arjuna who's a kshatriya you know being accused even now if you call a guy and call him important he's not going to keep quiet right it's like the biggest insult but for a kshatriya it's like one of the greatest insult right and uh, but arjuna does that because he's a cousin and he tells that how can you allow these impurities come upon you and in 2.6 he surrenders he says that i just don't know what to do i am so confused and uh, indecision right so shushti so therefore uh, this 2.7 comes up i request someone to raise your hand so that you can do the reading i will do the shloka hari krishna 2.7 दार्पण्य दोषो प्रहत स्वभाव पृछा धर्म संूढ़चेताेयशाचित भूवि ते शिष्यस्ते अहम सादी मां प्रपन्न हरे कृष्ण ये सभी यू कैन रीड एंड राहुल प्रभु यू कैन यू ऑल कैन टेक टर्न वन आफ्टर दर यस ये सभी प्लीज गो एंड now i am confused about my duty and have lost all composure because of weakness in this condition i am asking you to tell me clearly what is best for me now i am your disciple and a soul surrendered into you please instruct me right so very beautifully he is telling uh, what is he telling he says i am confused about my duty right and he says i have lost my composure so i don't know i am like uh, asking you what i should do what's best for me and please instruct me so now the relationship shifts right so far cousin brother in law friend all that is shifting now that he surrendering therefore he becomes like the uh, you know like the shishya like student and krishna becomes the teacher now see the mood of krishna see so far it was like friend right so how would you behave if a friend is going to the exam hall and telling i will not write the exam you will try and tell him patiently then finally you get so angry you'll just go and write yaar come on this is not the time to have this doubt right so that's the kind of situation so now imagine we are all in the war field and put yourself in krishna's shoes you have guy who is going to be uh, you know in the, by the end of chapter 1 we were very convinced that what arjuna did is right but now we are going to be confused why because arjuna if he did right then imagine in the pakistani border all our parents all our lives are in stake and the commander in chief decides okay i don't want to fight because i feel it's not right i feel compassionate for pakistani soldiers mine too i feel it's sinful to kill people how will you react oh my god you may feel good but the other guy is not going to be there right my family is there my children my sister brother he is going to shoot and imagine if you are in a in a dilemma and you have to convince him what kind of a stress you will be going through so let's set ourselves in that mood and we will start our journey into the second chapter so this is arjuna's face how he is feeling and this is krishna's reaction where he accepts him uh i believe whatever i see whatever i see which we are going to do in the fourth chapter we are going to see various types of knowledge provided our eyes are imperfect right so i am i am just going to ask you a question what do you see in the screen so what do you see in the screen it's a picture of dawn yes okay this is what you see so i have taken my video also off so that you can now 
lots of clouds. Mm -hmm. Now, a tree. A tree. A parrot. A parrot eating. Yeah, so why didn't you tell me a parrot when I first showed you? The parrot was always there. Because you focused our vision on that said parrot. Exactly. So that's the reason. It was not visible. True. So that's the biggest challenge. So, um, so this is a challenge which we are seeing. So Paramatma is so small, right? Krishna is also right now not visible. So our eyesight are not perfect. So now we are going to see the answer for the one. The compassion is the issue. So Krishna is going to address this particular uh, thing about compassion, right? So in Bhagavad Gita 2.13. So after I read, you all can go ahead and uh, take over. Hare Krishna. Tehino sminyata dehe kaumaram yavvanam jara tata dehantara prapte dheeras tatra namuyate. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. As the embodied soul continuously passes in the body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a charge. So, whatever we are talking about, were you the same 10 years back? Where you all, you know, you go the mirror, can you tell me that you were looking exactly the same before 10 years? Any of you No? no. After 10 years, are you confident you look exactly the same? No. No. So, therefore, that's the same thing which is going to happen for us, right? So, after 10 years, for 10 years, we keep changing. Why? Because there's a small child here. Till So, forget about us. Even scientifically, they say that once in seven years, people, all the DNA cells die, Right? So even though we are living one life, assuming we live 100 years, every seven years, there is a complete mutation, complete change in our body, right? So that means we have already been changing different body. No more we are the small child we came out of the mom, right? Today we are so different. Cells, everything has grown. But the point, biggest point, which is highlighted here is compassion, right? And Arjuna is saying that he's feeling compassionate. And why is he compassionate? He feels that he's going to kill them, right? So he is talking about killing. So, so now Krishna is trying to explain that the body constantly goes through change. So there is nothing in terms of completely changing because now he's going to explain the quality of the soul. So the soul, one quality, and before I chant this, is the soul is very tiny. It's very tiny and nothing can kill the soul. Uh, it is one by 10,000 of the tip of the hair. So you take the tip of the hair, chop it into 100 parts. Okay. That one hundred, 100, that piece, you again chop it into 100 parts, right? That tiny thing, that is one by 10,000, right? That is the uh, size of the soul. The soul he's trying to tell is you, the soul can never be killed in any case. So he's explaining the quality of the soul. So that is what is the next loka, which we are going to do. Bhagavad Gita 2.2. Hare Krishna. Nainam chintanti sastani. Nainam dahati pavakaha. Na chainam kledayan tyapo. Na sosyati marutaha. Hare Krishna. The soul can never be cut into pieces by any weapon. Nor can he be burned by fire. Nor moistened by water. Nor withered by the wind. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Both of you are reading so well. So he's saying it cannot be cut, burnt or, you know, had any impact because of wind or external atmosphere. So he's saying that you don't have to worry, right? You can't kill the soul. So he is now explaining to Arjuna that nothing is going to happen. They are always permanent, right? And therefore, just to give a quick update, so he says that even if you kill, you can't kill the person. You, are, you can never kill the soul because soul is eternal and you are going to only kill the body. And even if you kill the body, what is going to happen? You will get a new body. Right? New body in the sense, the whoever you're telling, uncle, aunt, all of them, your, all your relatives, after they die, they'll be reborn again. So why are you feeling so compassionate? You don't have to worry for the uh, body. This is the 
this is what he's telling. So there are two theories, right? Some believe that he will be reborn. So he's sensible person who believes reincarnation. He is explaining that. But for somebody who says that I don't believe in reincarnation or rebirth, I just feel this is one life. He says then you don't have to worry at all. Because if it is one life, it is like a, a chemical, right? Will anyone feel sad that, you know, your wind soap or what do you call it, your surf excel got lost or put? Because if it is just body, it is just a matter of, we saw that, right? Uh, we saw on the first day that all the, uh, the, the you know, everything that's yesterday we saw, that the components, cost of it is about 210 rupees. For a loss of 210 rupees, you won't cry or you won't really feel sad. So he says you don't have to worry. So now he's going to address the second question about enjoyment, right? He says, oh, I want to enjoy. What will happen if I win or lose? So let's see that. Hare Krishna. Ato va prapsya si svargam jitva va bokshya si mahim tasma gutishta kaunteya yudhaya krita nishchaya Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji. Yes, Mataji. You can read Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. O son of Kunti, either you will be killed on the battlefield and attain the heavenly planets, or you will conquer and enjoy the earthly kingdom. Therefore, get up and fight with the determination. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Uh, you're reading well, but it's a little soft. So if you can raise your voice next time and read, that will be great. Thank you so much. So he says now it's like bumper offer. He says, if you win, right, it means that you're going to have the kingdom because that's a purpose. Now, if you die, you know, you are going to go to heaven. Why? How is he so sure you'll go to heaven? Because any Kshatriya who dies in the battlefield, right, which means that if he, if he dies fighting, which is his duty, the road to heaven is assured. So that is why he says, if you die also, you don't have to worry because you're going to go to heaven. So that assurity is given. Hare Krishna. Your enemies will describe you in many unkind words and scorn your ability. Uh, what could be yes, uh, what could be more painful for you? Yes, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So now, can you hear? Uh, sorry, I lost the screen. Yeah. Now we can hear you, Mataji. This will describe you. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. So he's saying that you're in. So now tell me if he goes off, right? He runs away. What will be his reaction? Is he going to tell, oh, wow, he is such a compassionate guy. What will be Duryodhana's reaction? Is he going to tell that, wow, you know, this guy is so sweet. He is so compassionate or he will tell this fellow got scared of me and ran away. What will the enemy talk about Arjuna? That he is Exactly. exactly right yeah so even somebody who's getting first rank does not take the exam what will be your what will you tell you will tell oh useless right that person maybe you know she didn't study well or maybe she you know usually she's somehow she'll manage fluke this is how we talk right so this is what they're going to talk so he's saying that your enemies are going to be really talking bad of you only and for us it's okay we'll wipe it off uh, but chatriya no he can't tolerate his, his blood will start boiling he won't be able to digest that so, Krishna is telling for you, death itself is better. So, we will see what he says next. Hare Krishna. Neha vikramana sosti pratyavayona vidyate svalpam apyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bayat. Hare Krishna. Not able to see the text, Mataji. I don't know, it's my. Ah, okay. Okay, let me just explain the story. It's a story time, right? So now you'll have small, small stories throughout, starting from now. So this is this lovely uh, mouse, which has got a strawberry. And that mouse is thinking of this diya, right? The lamp as strawberry. And it is running towards the lamp to eat it. 
in the process it dies okay now krishna is telling oh my god this mouse is so sweet it wants to uh, uh, save my lamp such as of this mouse okay now you have to answer me is krishna so dumb does he not know the purpose of the mouse are krishna yes or no no not got no, man do you repeat please no my question was the mouse actually thought it's a strawberry and it vanished right so what happened so that did uh, did krishna not know that the mouse right burnt itself because it thought as a strawberry is krishna not intelligent enough to guess the mind of the uh, mouse he knows ma'am he knows ma'am sachi it was his karma and so karma reacts it didn't like even if for a child the karma reacts so there is no chance yeah that's very nice but then why is krishna telling oh my god it came to save my lamp so because krishna is so kind hearted even indirectly that is what is the third line swalpam apyasya so if anybody is uh, knows kannada they'll know this word swalpa swalpa means little bit it's also the same in sanskrit swalpa means little bit if you do for krishna he feels so good so even though the mouse motive and interest was personal it it came towards the lamp so krishna wants to take everything favorable to krishna consciousness so just imagine our situation if this is the plight for the mouse which never had to think even little bit if we do that credit krishna gives us completely now we are having hanuman right so even anger showed in the uh, you know for uh, this particular thing is called uh, love right Lo- love for god so anything done for example hanuman went to sri lanka and he burned the entire lanka right and that is anger so normally we say that anger is wrong but in this case he shows anger not for his personal vengeance it is for krishna conscious so any reaction for krishna conscious is right so if we have time i will explain the conversation which happened between hanuman and narada please remind me after class uh, either today or tomorrow today if i have time i think first focus is about karna and vikarna story so i'll tell you that so we addressed basically three things right the first one compassion the second one about enjoyment and uh, now we are going to also you know see sin right so he says anything in krishna conscious technical thing but anything in krishna conscious so arjuna whatever you he will explain more but i will first move to the family tradition and then i will explain that more so family traditions so we all keep can't relate to this uh, real in the in our mind but practically family tradition is very very important so what is the family tradition issue which is going on so the family tradition thing is i still recall my dad telling me i'm i'm sure many of you can relate that you know my friends are coming dress up well and i still do not know the meaning of what is that dress up well till date because i am i am always in this dress right so it is not a wedding for me to wear all makeup and get overly dressed right so in your house you are always either in your shorts and your t-shirt or in your casual wear okay so what do you mean by dress up well so you are not anyways in your swimsuit so obviously whatever you are wearing is your best of attire and why do you need to dress up well but still we reluctantly will go and wear something you know a long skirt or a tra- or a tra- or a track pant or a full t-shirt or something yes or no can you relate uh, girls i know can tell yes but what about boys do you all have such things your parents telling you come go dressed well yes or no yes yes ma'am yes, right yes, so why do we do this why do we do this because of family tradition right the guest has a particular image about the family and we don't want to be the cause for ruining that right so that's exactly uh, what the fourth reason is so um, family tradition so um, so that's what we keep doing so where is the story of family tradition here as i said if the elders are not there who will guide us who will give us the direction so that becomes our biggest challenge and the fifth one is uh, 2.41 hari krishna vyavasay atmika bhutti eke ha kur nandana bahu shaka hanantascha buddheyo vyavasayinam hari krishna so vyavasay atmika bhutti means have a resolute mind so this is again a story now can someone guess who are the two people in this in, in the picture yes ma'am dronacharya and dronacharya and arjuna okay 
you know, I thought you all will guess, but Dronacharya, oh, that was a tough one. Thank you so much. So th this one, uh, the small Arjun, you know, mini Arjun, when he was so small, was asked to uh, shoot the bird. And at that time, he, uh, Dronacharya asked him, you know, actually the eye. So he asked Arjuna, what do you see? And Arjuna said that I can see the eye. Right? Everybody said, I see a sky, you know, like the uh, thing which we had sometime back, the tree, the parrot and all of this coming up. So this is where is the issue. So, uh, so it's so nice, right? So Vivasaya Atmika Buddhi. So this is what is resolute. And therefore, he's be focused. So if you're focused, so here he's telling be focused on Krishna conscious. So if you are doing everything with a single mind, you know, nothing will affect you. There's absolutely nothing uh, which can go wrong and you will not have indecision. The so fifth question is indecision. I'm not able to decide. Why you're not able to decide? Because we don't have focus. So what group should I take in 11th standard? I don't know. Medicine or engineering? So I will take biology, max, chemistry, computer science. No, no, not computer. I should take biology, max, chemistry, and uh, what is that? Physics, right? So that I can either go into medicine or into engineering. Two completely different things. Because we don't have one Vivasaya Atmika Bhutti, right? So this is the challenge because we are confused. Which one to take? AK, take one, right? Then it is perfect. That's what he's saying. Now 2.55, let's go on. Hare Krishna. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Prajahati yadhat hamam, sarvan partamanugatan, atman eva atmana tushtah, stitha pragna stadochate. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. The blessed Lord said, O Path, when a man gives up all the varieties of sense desire which arise from the mental cognition, uh, and when his mind finds satisfaction in the self alone, then he is said to be a pure transcendental consciousness. So he says very clearly, uh, Bhartha, so he's talking to Arjuna. He gives up all types of this here, right? What is mental concoction? From the mind, we keep analyzing and you start giving up all kind of a thing. And the mind is fixed, right? In the self. Then, you know, he will come into a transcendental consciousness. So what he's saying, if you have a single focus, then you'll have more clarity. If you have multiple focus, it's difficult. Now, anybody, any guesses on who is this small mini hero here? Prahlad. Oh, amazing. Yeah, Prahlad. 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 Why don't you tell the team? So, anybody knows the story of Prahlad? Yes, Mataji. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please go ahead. Um, Prahlad was a child of, uh, I'm just uh, forgetting the name of the father. Hiranika Shapu, right? Yeah, so uh, Hiranika Kashipu never wanted to worship any lord and he is always saying to his um, everyone that they should worship me instead of Vishnu or the Lord. But Prahlad Maharaj uh, was always being worshipping Lord Vishnu and uh, just praying Lord Vishnu every time. And uh, his father, Hirani Kashipu, never wanted that. And he actually disliked his child. Uh, and he always trying to kill Prahlad uh, through various methods. But in every method, uh, Lord Vishnu is trying to save his devotee because he was very lovable and devotees always uh, being compassionate towards a uh, lot. And uh, at the end, like he he was actually uh, like his father asked Prahlad to uh, let me see the God. And uh, then Prahlad said that God is everywhere. Even in the pillar, there is a God. And he uh, started screaming like Hiranika Shapu, like, where is the God? And suddenly Lord Vishnu takes avatar in form of Narsimha Dev, like half human and half uh, lion. And he used to kill Hiranika Shapu just to save his devotee. So beautiful. So beautifully you narrated. Thank you so much, Divya. Really nice to hear uh, you know, Nictorian story from you. So next time, any of y'all interested to share stories when you see a picture, please go ahead and share and I'll pause. Uh, so nice. You should start telling these devotional stories. Uh, thank you so much. So this little boy uh, was just five years and imagine Hiranya Kashpu loved his son, but yet he wanted to show his domination, right? Because he wanted to be number one and that is what it is, but nothing happened to him. He tried, as he said, poison, snakes, nothing, because that's the power of the greatest devotee. This is one scene where they put him in fire also. And also, uh, uh, you know, I was talking about Prabhupada. 
right? Prabhupada was also someone who was very focused. He said he will go and spread Krishna consciousness. And he started his journey in the age of 69 when he traveled by Jayaduta, right, to US. And he was with hippies. So I still remember, you know, if there is a hippie who comes and sits next to us in the, uh, in the train, what will we do? We will swiftly change the coach and go, right? But imagine he went and stayed with the hippies and got many of them into uh, Krishna consciousness, right? Taught them that. So let's go ahead with 2.62. Now, what is uh, Krishna telling Arjuna? So Arjuna, he answered the five questions and he, Arjuna's motive was what? I don't want to fight. I want to give up fight. Okay, and do what? And become sannyasi. So he's now giving the quality of a sannyasi, right? So if let's say a child who is getting 30 marks in biology, but excellent in maths, right? Wants to uh, do medicine. So instead of telling directly, hey, chi, don't do medicine, it's useless for you. You're right. So you partially tell, okay, for medicine, you know, for biology, you might be requiring 100 marks. But then, you know, if you're going to focus on your engineering, your 100 marks in max is good enough, right? Indirectly, you are explaining to the child the plus and the minus point of a particular subject, which is not appropriate. So becoming a, a sannyasi for Arjuna is not at all appropriate. Therefore, he goes ahead and tells this uh, story. 2.62 Hare Krishna. Dhyayato Vishayan Pumsha. Sangha Teshu Prajayate, Sangha Sanjayate Kama, Kama Krodo Abhijayate. Hare Krishna. While contemplating the objects of the senses, a person develops attachment for them. And from such attachment, lust develops, and from lust, anger arises. So nice. So he says, while contemplating the object of senses, right? So when he is watching, when he is thinking, so let me tell a very simple thing. So let's say that we were watching a movie or just we are switching on the TV for whatever, some, let's say for the news, right? But suddenly we see this nice ad, one lovely, you know, uh, lipstick ad. Now we have all our beautiful girls here thinking that, okay, if I wear this lipstick or this foundation, you know, I will become so beautiful. And we have all our boys here looking at that and they are not bothered about the lipstick but they are bothered about the girl wearing the lipstick now both of them have some attachment okay whether it's the object which is lipstick or the object which is a person so what happens automatically here lust means desire right so don't get mixed up with uh, the lust which we use um, in english uh, so here the meanings of uh, they have like you know like the french word or um, sanskrit words they have double meaning right they may mean both so here lust refers to any desire. So even looking at a lipstick and wanting that desire is also called lust. It's not necessarily an opposite gender. So what happens immediately? Lust, that is the desire to either buy the lipstick or keep looking at the girl comes in, right? And if you don't achieve that, let's say that lipstick is not available out of stock or not there in a particular thing, automatically we get irritated, which, we, which is actually anger, but we very partially use the word irritate. So then what happens? 2.63. Hare Krishna. Krodha Bhavati Samoha Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. From anger, complete delusions arises, and from delusions, bewilderment of memory. When memory is bewilded, intelligence is lost, and when intelligence is lost, one falls down again into the Material pool. Hare Krishna. Yes. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. So when you are angry, what happens? You are very confused, right? When we are in anger, we can't decide. And in that time, you know, your memory doesn't work. You like put off. And when memory is not working, when memory itself is confused, what happens? Intelligence is totally lost. We just don't know what we are doing. Just like in anger, people don't even know whom they are talking to and what words come out of their mouth. Because memory also goes and intelligence is completely lost. And finally, he falls down into the material pool totally stuck inside, right? He doesn't know what he is doing. So in case of Hiranyakashpu and Pralad, right? So uh, that is nice. Okay? So what happened? The son whom he loved himself, he went and attacked. So can you see what level his intelligence is lost? And he calls himself a king. And Pralad is his varis, right? His uh, thing. People are doing a lot of tapasyas to get a child. And he has a lovely child and he wanted to kill him just because of his to in, in intelligence and because of his anger he was trying to do it so this is a classic example so this is how it works right you see attachment you get interested last i said this year if you don't get it anger comes from delusion what happens is confusion you will you get mixed up with memory and your intelligence is lost and finally you fall and with this 
we will conclude the second chapter and uh, as we spoke compassion we are not the body we are the soul that's the point this one we are not the body we are the soul is the confidential knowledge so we will have various knowledges bhagavad gita the first six chapter talks about this concept this concept is spoken only once but it is a strong concept which we have to carry forever so today even if i tell you for example let's say that i am going to tell you okay uh, i say this is my ipod right and i say this is my rubber band uh, i say this is my phone i don't so i say the word my but same way i tell this is my hand i don't say this is radhika this is a part of radhika but it is not radhika right so i say i i so unknowingly if you notice my refers to something which is outside so this is my body right but i am doing means we are relating to the soul so subconsciously we know the difference between the soul and i am talking as a representative of the soul that is why i keep telling my hand like my phone right i don't say i hand do i tell i hand my i i no i tell my i so we know that the body is different from the soul just that even theoretically we have not got into that observation right now no enjoyment is the second query where he says you know bumper offer you win the war you are having a heaven you lose it no problem still you will uh, um, if you win you have the kingdom i mean sorry if you lose it you you have a heaven heaven like you have a place in the case a uh, fear of sinful activity he says no problem there is nothing for you to fear in your sinful activity because life is safe and everything is taken care and destruction of family he says this varna shankara will come how is the family elders are not there youngsters won't know what to do so the chances of people fooling the women and women getting adulterated is very high but they say don't worry if you run away only you have family will be in shame right imagine if you run away family tradition what do you think they'll feel they'll think wow so nice no way they're not going to think that way and indecision is serve the lord right with what to do whether i should fight or not don't think of that you just do it as a duty because you have to serve the lord and your duty is as a kshatriya to fight so all that which we saw in the first chapter that krishna arjuna is right right we felt so but now if you see after krishna so nicely it's not like oh you should just write like that only no not that answer every single question he is so beautifully addressing right and on top of it he says when it comes to devotional service nothing can be wrong because your focus is only krishna so you won't do wrong so this conversation now is a small story which i told i am going to extend right so i am going to talk about our hanuman so many of how many of you all feel i mean of course you all like hanuman but how many of you all feel that uh, what hanuman did burning sri lanka is right or it's wrong so how many feel it's wrong please raise your hand you know that burning lanka uh, was wrong if anyone feels burning lanka is wrong raise your right okay so i get a right so if anyone feels it's wrong i mean you don't have to accept uh, the view of someone you can just go ahead and do that okay so three of you all feel that it's wrong right okay so narada says the same he says hey what you de- did acha sabhi has put his hand down okay priyadas and sulu okay all of you all, all of you are doing that acha this was a reading hand okay i am assuming that rana magar still feels it's wrong so i will still give a story so this narada is telling hey what you did is wrong you have killed so uh, he says no i didn't intend to kill anyone and i wouldn't do that too. so what happened is he says i went there and everybody were doing puja so when you do your tapas and puja whom do you do for you do for the lord right so but they were doing for their own body they consider that the body is uh, is the is a place of yes see we consider the body as a, a place of worship from a point that the soul resides but you should not think oh i am great i am the body i am god right so that was the attitude in people in sri lanka and he was very upset so what was he doing he was so angry and uh, he went to everybody's place and they were all thinking they are only god so he said normally when yagna what you do you will put all the thing right you will put clarified butter you will put lot of items dress kiss and all so that it will get uh, purified so he said so i thought i'll purify them and i put them on fire but they said god they should not die but they got burned and then he had also gone now right can anyone tell me the name of ravana's good brother bad brother all of you know kumbhakarna good brother vibhishan vibhishan thank you so much vibhishan so when he went there he saw bhavan right everywhere else there was a place it was written ban and only there it was bhavan ba means god six opulence and ba ban means forest so if the ba is zumut it is only one it's only forest so that's what he burned 
but in vibhishan's place he had a temple right he was praying ram so he said he, so technically it's not that he burned the entire slanka not all the people who were devotees only the non devotees got hurt so though externally it might look sinful that he's burned lanka internally he's only destroyed the bad all the good like vibhishan are always protected by god so nothing happened at all so with this we will end the second chapter i'll tell the prayer and after that i'll take your questions hari krishna vancha kalpa darubhyascha kripa sindubya eva cha patita nan pavani vyo vaishnavebyo namo namaha come on all of you join hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare krishna hare rama hare rama hare krishna come on all of you now what is your doubt hare rama hare rama hare rama hare krishna so um, so what is your doubt uh, you all had some doubts in between i didn't want to stop because the flow will get digress so um, sulu you had some doubt and someone asked about the recording uh, recordings are uh, there is a playlist which is updated in the settings let me just check if it's in the setting it is also shared in the class yeah you can please ask the doubt so meanwhile i'll be checking yeah so uh, uh, mohandas prabhu can you update the playlist uh, also i think yeah I, i will do that sure. after, after the class i will immediately put it uh, sure sure after the yeah. class and also bhagavad gita book also he will resend it again yeah we'll do that also i give quiz okay is somebody going to help vaishnavi on how to give a quiz uh, right so uh, because quiz you actually will go there's a quiz link which is shared again that will also be uploaded in the settings and uh, you can go click that or you can go to our website www.iskonmangaluru.com and there is a place called the quiz link which i demoed on the first day uh, which was on day 0 day 0 we did one full day about how to uh, do quiz and all that i suggest please go through the video if you have any doubts please come back but just try and work from your end the questions are there hari krishna yes uh, any other doubt do you all have doubt ma'am uh both sulu your doubt is whether the what nashima that is the desire of uh, to destroy hiranya kashpu he need not come to earth he can send his sudarshan chakra right or he can send one covid uh, what should i say variation h to kill hiranya kashpu but he came because prahlad wanted to see god so there are two reasons which is going to come up in the fourth chapter where we will know the external reason may appear that he has come to kill hiranya kashpu but the main reason why krishna came here is not to annihilate the enemies but the main reason is to show or you know uh, to play and have pastimes with the uh, devotees i hope i've answered that hare krishna yes then what is any other questions hello no other questions then i'm going to talk about um, our cup okay so now uh, going i have to... yes please go ahead sure yeah you told that story about uh, anuma uh, destroying the lanka because they d- did not worship uh, ram right uh, they did not worship sorry your voice is like my voice is Are you getting... going in and out not able to hear you you uh, in your story you told that uh, anuman uh, destroyed lanka because uh, they did not worship any god or uh, ram right oh, no 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 he didn't destroy them there was a main story right you know why he destroyed lanka right because of they burning his tail he is showing that but he did not actually kill any devotees he went there and all those who said that they are only gods they is not worshiping god they all thought that they were only gods and trying to do you know show off and destroy a lot of people and they were doing a lot of harm right with that attitude so he said okay if you are god and if you believe that your body is only god then i will do like you know yagna you do right where you put all the good things into the fire so he says okay i'll also put the thing in the fire so let's see what, what's going to happen uh, so that's a point which he conveys to narada yeah please go ahead go ahead you still have some doubts or hare krishna hare krishna yeah yes ma'am another doubt uh, you told about like uh, chitriyas right yeah uh, 
that uh, in uh, war, like in Mahabharata, Chetriyas went to heaven because they fight right in the and they died in the field. Where, where? The battlefield. So they yeah. died in the battlefield. Yeah, in battle. Kshatriyas. No, no, I, I, I'm not getting the context. You're talking about the Kshatriya. Yeah, okay. Kshatriya died in the war. No, you, uh, there was uh, in one uh, phase that you showed uh, that uh, Kshatriyas uh, uh, who died in the battlefield, they went to the heaven. Yes, it is said so. Any Kshatriya and who dies in the party. It, yeah. Yeah, then uh, uh, like uh, in current uh, days, right? Uh, like in current days, uh, not only Chetriyas, other people also died in uh, battlefield, right? In any battlefield. Because uh, other yes, people, yes. like not only Chetriyas, other people also participate. Then they will not That's go right. to heaven. No, they will all go to heaven only. Anybody who dies in the battlefield goes to heaven. So that is written in the Shastra. And especially this is a Dharma Kshetra. So anybody who dies does go to heaven. But what is your doubt? My doubt is like, uh, you know, according to your saying, right? I, 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 according to your saying, I, uh, I'm understanding that uh, we, we, we can go to war and we can fight. And if we die, we will go to heaven. If we win, not we, we not we, no, not we. One second, I'll correct. Uh, I'll stay corrected. I said that the Kshatriyas, but we are not Kshatriyas, right? So if you fight, we will go to jail in here. And if we fight and die, we will go to Naraka only for killing people. So this is with reference to Kshatriyas. So a Kshatriya, it's like the uh, no, doctor. According to... Go ahead. No, no. According to uh, religion, it is believed that according to that, uh, what we say, karma, uh, the caste is uh, divided, not according to both, right? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You complete your question. Uh, so, in that uh, in that point of view, like uh, uh, if I want to like join in army, right? And uh, okay, yes, and yes. Fight. So, if you are going to be in the army, okay. So, this one applies to whatever I was talking about. Okay, now if you are in the army and if you die in the army, I'm sorry, I really do not know the answer whether we will go to hell, heaven or not. But then for killing in the army, you no one goes to hell because that's his duty. So is for the doctor, right? If the doctor is performing a surgery and cuts off the hand of a person, right? he's not make, creating any crime. But the Shastras say that if you are a Kshatriya and the person, uh, for example, even going by the military, if, you, if the person is in the army and he kills 100 people, he is not going to, uh, it's his duty. So now I'm not commenting whether he will go to hell or heaven because that part of the I